Well, hello there. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have the honor of bringing you today's word for the day. Today's word comes from Proverbs 10, 17. So let's read it, and then we'll dive on into the study. Whoever heeds discipline shows the way to life, but whoever ignores correction leads others astray. Okay, so most people that I've talked to, not everybody, but most people say they've gone through a period in their life where they rebelled. Whether that rebellion was against their parents, their guardians, or teachers, they've all been through points in life where they thought they knew better than the wiser people around them. And I'm no different. If you ask my mom, she'll tell you I was a pretty terrible, know-it-all, rebellious teen. But here's the thing. I now know, and the people that I've spoken to know, that life was not meant to be lived in rebellion. Which doesn't mean life needs to be boring, but you learn that joy doesn't come from doing things your way or even being against the grain of community. True joy comes from loving God and loving the people around you. You simply can't do that if you ignore the correction from those wiser than you. Because they see something you don't see or they've experienced something you just haven't experienced yet. What I know is that there are a lot of teens who struggle with this concept of heeding discipline, and even some adults who just can't seem to wrap their head around it. But it's extremely important if we are going to live a life that points people to Jesus. If you care at all about our mission and purpose in this world, that should always be our goal, to point people towards Jesus and not away from Jesus. So we should crave healthy discipline in order to get us closer to that goal. And in my mind, there are two types of discipline that we should mention and think about here. There is correction, which means someone comes along and helps to steer our actions, our thoughts, our relationships, etc., towards the right direction and away from the wrong direction. And there's maturity, which, which is once we get to a certain point of being disciplined, we realize we've grown up. And through our experiences and past corrections, we become mature. Mature. No, no one is ever fully mature and complete, but as time goes on, we are able to correct and lead others more and more towards life as well. It's a beautiful cycle. When we show respect instead of disdain for the correction happening in our lives, we actually start displaying godly fruits right away. For example, it shows we have humility, that we're able to live in community with other people. It allows us to display Christ-like integrity. And if you are a leader in any capacity, it also shows where your ceiling's at because you can only grow as much as you are willing to be taught and corrected. Our maturity that's built up out of correction helps us to become an example worthy of following for other Christians. And you know what? It all starts with a choice. If we've decided to follow Jesus for the rest of our lives, that means we live a life that will look forward to healthy discipline. Because when we act selfish, prideful, arrogant, or even combative to the rebuke of Jesus, we end up putting sin right back in control of our lives. Next time you struggle with any kind of discipline, consider how Jesus lived his life here on earth. He came down and was obedient to the Father's plans, obedient even to death. He never needed correction because he was perfect, but we're not perfect. We we stray from the path of God, we stray from the path that God has for us all the time. And we need that correction to get us back on that right path towards life. Now here's one way you can look at it. Jesus has set up rebuke, correction, and discipline on all of our paths to help us to help us and those around us, not to hurt us. So stop rejecting Jesus' help when it comes your way. May the discipline in your life bring you even closer to Jesus. So be blessed, Calvary, and I'll see you later.